Home builder Lennar is being vindicated today after a two-year battle against Barry Minkow, an ex-con and ex-minister who accused the company of a Ponzi scheme. Suzanne O'Halloran is following the latest developments, which include formal criminal charges. Suzanne? Thanks, Mark. You know, this is a story of a company that did not give up, and it's also a story about how powerful short sellers and rumors in the market can be, even when that source is a convicted felon. Now, Minkow, who represented himself as a financial analyst for his company, the Fraud Discovery Institute, was charged today by federal officials with conspiracy to commit securities fraud in connection with Lennar. In the filing, prosecutors make mention of this video that you're looking at, uh, which came from his website and was circulated all over the internet when he's talking about Lennar, including YouTube. Minkow also disclosed over the past few years that he may or may not have been shorting the stock. That's a bet it would fall at one time or another. Now, Minkow is facing up to five years in prison. Here's the backstory: On January 9th, 2009, Lennar shared dropped nearly 20% after, after Minko publicly accused the company of operating a Ponzi-like scheme through a real estate development venture in California. That same day, Lennar CEO Stuart Miller came on Bloomberg Television and defended his company and also filed a lawsuit in Florida State Court over the past two years. Mark, Miami's attorney general, has been investigating Minko and other people involved, and today that investigation resulted in formal charges. And what we, from, what we are hearing from people close to the case is more charges may be filed against others involved involved in this scheme, Minko may have been hired by somebody to hurt Lennar. Mark? Uh, Suzanne, what is Lennar saying today? Yeah, well, today CEO Stuart Miller had this to say in an emailed statement this morning. The criminal activity described in the government's filing has been a continuing assault on our company for several years. We are pleased that the government is pursuing the responsible parties. Now, during the past two years, Lennar's stock has bounced back from that fateful day. It's actually advanced more than 100 percent, doing a lot better than housing stocks in the S&P by a pretty wide margin. Margin. But, Mark, this case is a joint effort between the Miami FBI, the SEC, and Miami's Attorney General. And in a statement today, the trio also says Minkow abused his relationship with federal law enforcement agencies by reporting to them false information. When he was in prison, he actually came out claiming he was reformed and was working with uh, officials to nab uh, other companies involved in fraud. He, of course, is innocent until proven guilty. Mark? Suzanne O'Halloran, thank you so much.